Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and this is my video series on practical JavaScript, where I walk you through the algorithm challenges at freecodecamp.com. In this video, we are going to do one hell of a challenge. Smallest common multiples. It's quite easy to calculate if you have two numbers, but uh, when you're dealing with multiple numbers, it is really, really, really difficult. Um, in order to successfully complete this challenge, you really need to have a good understanding of, uh, of how to solve this problem, uh, particularly using something called the Ulysidean algorithm. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but uh, I tried this for hours and hours and hours on my own with um, no results <laughs> and uh, until I did some research. Um, and uh, I'm going to show you some resources to help you understand this code. Um, but anyway, let's jump into the, um, into the challenge at Free Code Camp. Smallest common multiple. Find the smallest common multiple of the provided parameters that can be evenly divided by both, as well as by all sequential numbers in the range between these parameters. The range will be an array of two numbers that will not necessarily be in numerical order. For example, one and three. Find the smallest common multiple of both one and three that is evenly divisible by all numbers between one and three. Um, okay, so for example, if, if we had that um, okay, one, uh, one and three right here, so it takes an array as an object, and, uh, and there are going to be two numbers in that array, we have to find the smallest common multiple uh, for all the numbers, uh, <coughs> excuse me, in that range. So between one and three, we got one, two, and three, and uh, you got to think, okay, um, Let's think here. Okay, so for so for one, like one times one is one. One times two is uh, two. Three times one, or sorry, one times one is one. Two times one is two. Three times one is three. Four times one is four, and so on. And if we have two here, what are the multiples of two? We got two, four. Oops, two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, okay, and if we do the multiples of 3, we've got 3, 6, 9, 12, and so on. So um, just let me add some more integers here. So just looking at the, you know, the multiples for all these numbers, here are all the multiples of 1, these are all the multiples of 2, and these are some multiples of 3. Uh, what number do they all have in common? Uh, let's see, well, we got 2 and 2, but, but 2 is not present in the 3 multiples. Um, 3 is present here and here, but not here for the multiples of 2. Um, it looks like the smallest common multiple for 1 and 3, in other words, 1, 2, and 3, would be 6. So we have a 6 right here. We have a 6 here and another 6 here. So uh, this is essentially what we're doing. And again, this is very easy to find, uh, the, uh, you know, the smallest common uh, multiple for two numbers. Um, you just multiply the two numbers together. But finding it for multiple numbers, it is very, 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 very tricky. Um, they give you um, this, you know, link right here um, for mathisfun.com. Uh, guess what? Math is not fun. It is freaking really confusing. Um, it kind of gives you a basic overview, um, but it doesn't really help you solve this problem. Uh, what I recommend that you do, um, I recommend that you go to this website, wikihow.com. And uh, don't worry, I'll I'll put this in the um, in the link um, in the in the JavaScript file, um, and uh, you should definitely search for for this article, how to find the least common multiple of uh, of two numbers. Um, and actually, uh, I wonder if we have it. Um, let's see, all right, we can't find. 
All right, anyway, it says for two numbers, but it'll work for like multiple numbers too. And they give you four methods to, to do this. If you go to the last one here, the uh, Ulysses algorithm, this is basically what you're going to, to use uh, to find uh, the multiple, uh, lowest common uh, multiple. Um, so uh, if I, you know, before before I would attempt this uh, challenge, uh, certainly come to this website and just get very, very familiar with this. Read up on it and see how other people are solving it. When you, when you understand the algorithm and when you understand the steps, then it's just a matter of translating that into, uh, into JavaScript, which is, you know, relatively easy. Uh, translating it into JavaScript, but you first have to understand the, the, the solution and this you know, algorithm in order to do it. So uh, I'm not going to teach you that algorithm. Uh, you can you know, do that on your own. You can you know, read the articles and the research. I highly recommend it. But in this video, I'm going to walk you through my solution. And, um, and it is, um, it, it is a, an adaptation, uh, basically, uh, of this, what you see right here. All right, so uh, let's get down to it. Um, we only got about um, uh, we only got about nine minutes to do this. So first thing I want to do, um, it, it said in the challenge that uh, the arguments, um, the the numbers may not be in uh, numerical order. Um, so I need to determine what is the minimum and the maximum number um, in this array, and uh, that's that's easy to do. So let's see, var min equals math dot min. Okay, array zero and array one, okay, and we're gonna do uh, the same thing for the max value. This time we'll just say math.max array zero, array one. So array zero in this case would be one, and array one would be this five here, so it would determine the smallest and the largest number, respectively, okay? And then um, we need to find the uh, smallest common multiple for not just one and five, but all the numbers in between one and five. So we need to find the smallest common multiple for one, two, three, four, and five. Um, and we need a, an array to store that range. So let's say var range, and right now let's just create an, um, an empty array. Uh, now I, I, I want to populate that range with all the numbers one through five. So a simple for loop should do that for us. So let's say var x equals min. x is less than or equal to max, and x plus plus, okay, and then we just push range dot push x, and uh, and then we should have our range of numbers uh, in here. Okay, so uh, next, what I want to show you uh, now, I want to show you the um, the uh, the kind of starting value that we need. So uh, I'm going to work with just three variables, a, b, and c. Um, and yeah, if you read the you know articles here, it, it's going to help you kind of understand where I'm going from. Um, so I'm going to say var a and math.abs. Uh, that's just the absolute position. So um, if a is two, uh, the absolute position is two. If it's negative two, the absolute position is two. So basically, um, the absolute position, uh, absolute number, is uh, is a number's uh, position away from zero. So two and negative two, the absolute position or that absolute number is two, because positive two is two away from zero, and negative two is also two away from zero. So that's what's going on here. And basically, I just want to get the um, the um, the uh, the the absolute position of uh, range right here of range uh, the the first number in range um, I don't think so in the test that it uh, that it's going to give us negative numbers so um, I mean actually I, I don't even really need this but um, yeah I I think very well I could just say you know min and, and that would be totally fine uh, but um, you know, you know, if you're if you're working with negative numbers, then that would just you know 
help you out right there. Uh, now we need to do a for loop. Okay, so let's see. Or, or i equals one, and i is uh, all right. So we're going to iterate through the entire range array. I plus plus. Okay, and so now we're going to create uh, two more our variables var b. Okay, get the absolute position for range i. Okay, and uh, again for free code camp, I don't even think you need abs. But uh, if you're working with negative numbers, then you know there it is waiting for you. Um, and then I'm going to say var c equals a. Okay. Um, now I need a while loop. So while a and b. Okay. So uh, remember, um, uh, all numbers in uh, in JavaScript are truthy values, uh, except for zero. Zero is a falsy value. So uh, this while loop is going to continue executing, uh, continue looping, so long as a and b are truthy. So if a is a positive number, not zero, and also b is a positive number and not zero, this while loop will keep executing. As soon as one of those values, a or b, uh, is transformed and becomes zero, then it will uh, exit out of that um, while loop. So that's what's happening there. And then I'm just going to check for the uh, condition. So a, if a is greater than b, then we're going to change the value of a. And uh, you know, basically what I'm doing is this. I'm getting the remainder uh, of a. Okay, so for example, if, um, if a is 4 and then b is 2, so what is the remainder of 4 divided by 2? In that case, it's 0. Uh, so that's, I'm, I'm basically mutating the value of, uh, of a, um, and just a shorthand of doing this, we can do it like that, else, and then I'm going to do, do it like this. Um, this might seem like totally weird and confusing to you right now, but go to the wiki page right here and just, uh, and just you know, uh, follow along. Um, I'm just translating, you know, what I've learned from, from the internet, how to solve this uh, problem. Okay, so uh, after we uh, uh, exit out of this while loop, we're just going to change the uh, value of A again. Okay, and I'm going to do some fancy math logic here. So we're going to multiply the value of C uh, with the current uh, range number. Okay, and uh, divide that by the sum of a and b. Okay, and then after we have finished this for loop, we're going to return a. Okay, so um, let's see here. I'm going to save that. Okay, I'm going to save this as well. Let's pass in one and three. Okay, save it. Okay. Gotta go quick. Go to my example.html file do, 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 and open the developer tools. Get back here. Okay. Uh -huh. Close that and refresh. Okay, so six. All right, great. So that works. Let's try three and one. Save that. Let's try it again. Make sure. Okay, it also works. All right, let's try another one. Let's say uh, one and five. Uh, I already know the answer to this. The least common multiple for one, two, three, four, and five is gonna be 60. So I save that and we should get a 60. Uh, what's happening? Okay, for some reason it took me there. I don't want that, all right. Okay, yeah, sweet, we got 60. All right, um, so let me just copy the code from here. Oh, I gotta hurry up. Okay, okay, and please work, please work, please work. 
Yes! Okay, we underestimated you. Screw you guys. All right, this took way longer. Um, understand the, um, the math, and then you can just easily transfer that knowledge to the JavaScript. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions for improvement, please let me know. That's all for now. Goodbye. Boop.